Alienware's 15 and 17 inch laptops are built like tanks, offer well-designed lighting scheme and controls, and you can get a reasonably fast configuration for the money. They're not necessarily for folks who like to endlessly fiddle to eke out the last drop of performance though. With no software tools to monitor or adjust CPU settings, for example, Alienware doesn't make it convenient. One of the Alienware 17 only options is the Toby eye tracking system. Toby's system currently works with about 90 games, not a huge number given the breadth and variety of games that exist. It consists of two sensors below the screen and software controls. In theory, it should feel more natural than other forms of game navigation, but I find my eyes wander too much as I discovered when I enabled the gaze trace feature. The system also works in conjunction with power management to, for instance, wake when you gaze at the alien head. The two series have basically the same designs, pretty basic boring brown but they have nice lighting design and the software to program both the chassis and the keyboard works well. And speaking of the keyboard, it's still reinforced with a decent feel. Not mechanical, but not wholly membrane-y, that unlike a lot of gaming laptops is also comfortable for typing. The display options include a 120Hz G-Sync, better than cheap TN monitor, which is fast, and it's decent for games with its 90 to 93% sRGB gamut. Both have the same set of connections, including Alienware's dedicated connector for its external GPU, a handful of USB ports, mini display port to support G-Sync out. The 17-inch, at least, has room for a lot more USB connections, which would come in handy for VR. And the fans are loud on both, and they seem like they're always on.